welcome friends we're so glad that you've journeyed together with us as we've looked at the subject of faith today we will talk about holding on to our faith um it is common for us to hear from god receive his promises and then wait upon him for the right time um of fulfillment of that word as we journey in faith some of us might uh, uh you know some of us might find this easy to do wait on the lord for the fulfillment of his promises while some others uh, might find it distressing now whatever our calculations about the fulfillment of um, god's promise the one thing is for sure god requires for all of us to wait on him it is important for us to hold on to our faith and the classic example is that of abraham now abraham held on to god for 25 long years for the word to be fulfilled in his life and he is not the only person there are many people in god's word who received the promise of god and yet you know had to wait for um, a couple of years a couple of decades before god uh, god did what he had promised uh, it's not because you know god is slow in fulfilling his promises but the fulfillment of god's promises are for the appointed time so i want to encourage us you know whichever uh, uh, phase you are in in your journey of holding on to the promise of god uh, don't give up here is what hebrews chapter 10 verses 35 and 36 tell us therefore do not cast away your confidence which has great reward for you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of god you may receive the promise it says don't throw away your confidence because you are going to have a great reward after you have endured you will receive the promise so let us hold fast to uh, god's word let us hold fast to the confession let not our confession change no let not our actions change we may face quite a few enemies uh, in our journey of holding on to god's word and these could be unbelief you know slowly creeping into our hearts or it could be discouragement because of the long wait that we've had uh, it could also be a distraction something that takes away your focus from the promise of god's word it could simply be laziness you know after you've done everything to run that long sprint very close to the finish line you just feel lazy and you want to give up on what god has promised you it could also be a lack of understanding of what god has spoken into our lives all of these can derail us from holding on to the promise but the promise comes through for us only when we hold on in faith and we've seen this in the passage of hebrews 11 people who have received the promise because they held on by faith so hold on by faith no matter how long the journey god is with you and god's word is true let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that your word is true father we thank you that your promises are yes and amen i pray for the strength oh god um uh, to hold on to your word that each one of us lord will not move to the right or to the left but we will see the fulfillment of your promises in jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.